press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. So here I'll be taking an example of a single chiller. In this particular picture, you can see this is a closed loop circuit in the which is has a water cooled chillers with it, and one side is connected with the chill water pump to the air handling unit and back to the evaporator. So this particular side is known as a closed loop system chill water pump where you can see here, where air handling unit is connected directly to the chill water. The other side is known as the condenser water pump where it is connected to the cooling tower and to the condenser. In this video, I am going to discuss with you about chill water closed loop pump and chill water pump for the air handling unit or for the system side. There is no big difference in them but it is a minor difference when selecting a pump which I will be explaining you in this particular video. For now, you need to understand there are two types of pump which is known as chill water pump at the primary side and the secondary side. Chill water pump selection. For pump selection, we need to calculate the horsepower of the pump depending upon the following flow rate, GPM and head loss. Yes, for any selection of a chill water pump, you need to calculate the horsepower. How to calculate the horsepower? We need the two important parameters which is known as GPM, the flow of the water and the head loss in feet, feet or meters or kpa depending how you are calculating. Now the formula for HP horsepower is GPM into head loss into specific gravity of the water divided by 3960 which is a constant into percentage efficiency of GPM which is equal to TR into 24 divided by delta T. How we get the GPM? To understand the detail about the GPM and the GPM calculation, you can watch my another video which will be uploaded in the link description so you will understand detail. I have already made the video for GPM so you can easily understand it. GPM is equal to TR into 24 by delta T. For GPM, I have made a separate video. You can check the details of how to calculate the GPM. Specific gravity of the water 1. Efficiency of the motor which is usually taken between 60 to 80 percent of the motor. Next 3960 which is the constant parameter. Head loss which is calculated in feet or meter or kpa. Here we will be calculating the head loss in the feet. For head loss I have made a pump head calculation separate video. I will be adding it in the link description where you can check it in detail. Now after knowing all the values, we need to calculate the head loss in the piping system. Here I will be showing you the simple, exam simple example of an open loop system and the closed loop system for how and what are the parameters to be calculated for the head loss in the chill water supply and return pipe for both open loop and closed loop system. Chill water pump selection. Head loss in the piping is also known as pump head. Head loss is usually measured in feet, meters and kpa. Here I have taken two examples in the table 1 pressure losses in a closed loop system and in table 2 open loop system pressure losses. So as you can see in the there is the two major only one particular difference in open loop system and the closed loop system. The parameters to be considered for the pressure loss in a closed loop system are piping system, fittings, walls coils, chiller evaporator and system pressure. In an open loop system, you will be considering piping system, fittings, walls, cooling tower, chiller condenser and static elevation is the added parameter which should be considered in an open loop system. Next now we will be seeing with an example how to calculate the chill water pump selection. Horsepower which we have already discussed is GPM into head loss into specific gravity of the water divided by 3960 into percentage efficiency of the motor. Let us assume an example where we have 400 GPM of the water. The head is which is calculated 30 feet. Specific gravity of the water 1 and 
efficiency of the motor 70 percent now by calculating by this particular parameters you can see the horsepower is 4.64 so for this particular parameters we need to calculate a pump which will having a horsepower of 4.64 now let us do the pump selection now we will be seeing how to select the pump based on the pump curve which is provided by the pump manufacturer for any pump selection the pump manufacturers will be providing a pump curve so based on which you will be selecting the pump now for example which we have taken 30 feet and 400 gpm 30 feet which is equal to 9.14 meter and the flow which we have taken as an example is 400 gpm which is 25.23 liter per second here you can see a particular pump curve which is taken from the source Armstrong pump for example in the x axis you will be having a gpm or the flow which will be measured in liter per second or gpm this will be based on the pump manufacturer now for example here in the y axis you will be seeing the pump head which is measured in feet and meter so on the x axis there will be gpm of the flow and the y axis there will be the feet next this particular line which will indicate the impeller line and this particular which will be including the horsepower and the dotted line are the efficiency of the motor the pump curve graph will be provided by all the manufacturers depending on their sizes and the capacities now this particular pump which I am selecting is an example of an Armstrong pump where you can see the head loss which was taken by an example 30 feet where you will plot a line from the x axis and the y axis and the 30 feet and the flow rate which is GPM in this particular chart measured in liter per second which is 25.23 now by projecting both the lines you can see this particular interaction point is known as the operating point of the pump yes now you can see this particular point is known as the operating point which is in the dotted line as you can see the efficiency is more than 70 percent and the size of the impeller is 7.5 inch yes depending on the pump capacity there will be different sizes of impellers which can be used and the horsepower as you can see down below is 5 horsepower as we have already seen by doing it manually through the horsepower formula on the right hand side you will see the rpm of the pump and depending on this particular rpm you will be sizing a 7.5 inch of impeller now as you can see here on the right side there will be capacities and the sizes which will be known as the series pump number pump series sizes now this is the particular way you will be going to size any chill water pump selection based on the gpm and the head loss thank you very much viewers